It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and our first high goes to veteran pilot Chris Yates, who had just landed at a small airport near Pontiac, Michigan last Friday, when he noticed something wrong with a rookie pilot nearby and sprung into action. 21-year-old Taylor Hash said everything felt fine as she took off in her single-engine plane for just the third solo flight of her life. But she understandably began to panic a bit when the tower told her the front tire of the aircraft had fallen off and she would have to make an emergency landing. Yates saw it happen from afar and immediately hopped onto the radio. Delta Charlie pilot, what's your name, kiddo? My name's Taylor. Taylor, this is Chris. Um, my daughter's name is Taylor. And I taught her to fly. We're gonna be just fine, kiddo. Thank you very much. Yates told Taylor to circle the field until she was ready to land, giving the two strangers time to connect and Taylor a moment to collect herself. You gonna be a career pilot? I was planning on it. <laughs> this is a good start. This is a good story to your legacy, kid. With Yates' calm encouragement, Taylor was able to settle her nerves and stick the landing. Got a kid. Nice job. Here she comes, the nose is gonna come down. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Talk to me, kid. Good, I'm all good. That a girl, I'm proud of you. As soon as he said that, he goes, I'm proud of you. I just, you know, the waterworks came. You can hear my voice change at the end. I was, I was crying too, and it was very emotional. That is amazing. Afterward, Chris praised Taylor's calm under pressure, and we are told the two are making plans to go up and fly together. Nice teamwork, guys. Our next tie goes to U.S. men's national soccer team goalkeeper Matt Turner, who celebrated a shutout victory over El Salvador on Monday night by learning the gender of his baby with a kick. Give that ball a kick in! Turner's teammates piling on there. The goalie who will welcome baby number two with his wife Ashley later this year. The couple have a boy named Easton who was born last June. Man, these gender reveals really just continue to escalate, don't they? Congratulations to the family. Our final low this week goes to the ongoing three-year struggle to figure out Zoom filters spilling into public view once again. You'll remember this incident, which of course is the gold standard. Texas attorney Rod Ponton accidentally showing up to virtual court during the pandemic with a kitten filter dialed up. Rod famously assuring the court, quote, I'm not a cat. Well, here we are in 2023, and it's still happening, folks. Australia news anchor Alice Monfries tried valiantly to keep it together while her guests sorted through some virtual backgrounds for an interview. Do you have just like a plain from the logo or? Yeah, I'm just looking at that's not the one we want though. Um, I just, no, that's, that's, no, that, I'll just go to blue. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> uh, video filters. Ah, uh, studio. There it is. Get the party hat on. That is Mark Borlance, uh, ultimately landing on a mini party hat as he got ready to provide some insights about the automobile industry on air. Mark later poked fun at himself, posting photos wearing a real life party hat. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.